now I'll sit. Welcome to East Peoria High School. Thank you all for coming. Today the class of 2016 graduating eighth graders come together to experience a new journey. Over the past nine years in District 86, everyone has accomplished so much. All the knowledge we have learned in the past nine years helps us through this new journey we are about to experience. In August 2007, we were kindergartners about to start our grade school years. In August 2013, we started sixth grade at the old junior high. And then in August of 2015, we were the first eighth grade class to walk the halls of the new CJHS. Just think, in four more short years, we will be sitting here again, awaiting the welcoming of adulthood. This graduating eighth grade class is truly blessed to experience all we have. Thank you and welcome to your new home away from home. And now Sydney Robertson with uh, appreciation speech. Good evening. First off, I would like to thank uh, the audience for being here and sitting through this um, hot uh, gym area. So, and being here to celebrate with us as we've completed this far of our educations. Two years, nine months, and four days ago, we, the eighth grade graduating class of 2016, entered a new part of our lives in education, leaving our K-5 through teachers and principals at Shute, Lincoln, Wilson, Glendale, Armstrong, and Bolin behind. Thank you for preparing us for our junior high years and teaching us the vital skills needed for us to excel in our education though at the time it seemed like nonsense and nothing more than to occupy our curious little minds. August 19th, 2013, a new group of prepubescent sixth graders would walk through the doors of Central Junior High School. It was the day we'd all been excited for, yet were secretly nervous as the butterflies flew around in our stomachs. A group of wonderful teachers, five from blue and five from gold, welcomed us with warm smiles, teaching us how to open lockers, stay organized, make it to class in the three minute passing period, and how to be respectful, responsible, and safe. To that we say thank you. Every day you encouraged us to try our hardest, to never give up, and to never fear failure. Thank you for guiding us through our stressful first year. August 18th, 2014. We were back at it again with our seventh grade year, all excited to get back to school. Thank you to our seventh grade teachers for being by our sides as we entered the crazy upcoming year. Thank you for making us smile every day. And as we entered our seventh grade year, a new set of standards was thrown at us over halfway into our education. But our seventh grade teachers were there to make things a little more enjoyable. To that, we say thank you. Thank you for noticing what we were capable of. Not only were our teachers fun, but they were strict when they knew we weren't burning our full potential into our work. <laughs> Every day you reminded us to be respectful, responsible, and safe wherever we would go. And even when heartbreak occurred halfway through the school year, you kept us going and comforted us. Every day with a warm smile and a hug whenever we needed it. Always telling us if we ever needed someone to talk to, you'd be there for us. Thank you. Before I continue, I would like to thank our CJHS janitors for keeping our school a clean learning environment and picking up the messes we made. Thank you to our lovely lunch staff for having a breakfast option if we didn't get to eat that morning and lunch ready for us every day and cleaning our dishes every day so we'd have trays for either the next lunch period or the following day. Thank you to Mr. Ingold, Mr. Estes, and the administrative staff for making District 86 the best it could ever be. Thank you to Mr. Warner and Mr. Klowski for being a part of our 6th and 7th grade years. Thank you to Mr. Schrank and Mr. Frasco for being here our 8th grade year, listening to our problems and concerns. Thank you for keeping our school safe and everything running smoothly. Thank you to our secretaries for being here every day, both if we need to call home or need to speak to someone or even extra copies for physicals. Thank you to Mrs. Grimm for being here when we are sick and hurt. Thank you to our coaches for not only teaching for not only cheering us on and teaching us more about the sports we played, but taking the time out of your life to spend it with us. 
Thank you, Mr. Newgard, for teaching us how to play an instrument and pushing us never to quit. Also for preparing us for concerts, competitions, and now here at Promotion. Thank you to our classroom aides for encouraging us and being an extra set of help in the classroom. Thank you to our exploratory teachers for furthering our knowledge in technology, art, music, and computers. Thank you to our gym and health teachers for keeping and teaching us how to be healthy. Thank you to Mrs. Squires for having books available for us and making us smile with your daily jokes. Thank you to Mrs. Ellis for being responsible for our extracurriculars and making sure we are eligible, also for the way you run state track. Thank you to Dr. Spencer and Mr. Foote for being a listening ear and a comforting hug throughout the gossip, rumors, drama, and breakups. Thank you to the substitute teachers who would come into our classroom when our teachers can't and putting up with us even if we can be disrespectful. And thank you to our bus drivers for, teaching, for taking us to school every day and taking us back home because you are not a chauffeur, but you still do that even if we are loud and distracting. And now continuing with teachers. As our seventh grade teachers waved a bittersweet goodbye, a new set of smiling faces entered our lives. Our eighth grade teachers have prepared us to enter our high school years and taught us so much more. Though our 2015-2016 school year was the craziest, you all still stood right next to us. From the sad goodbye to the old CJHS to the welcoming of the new school, you guided us through. The daily support you give each and every one of us, as well as a warming smile, is more than we deserve. Every day, you pushed us to try harder and refused to let us and refused to give up on us. Thank you for not only making class enjoyable, but cracking a joke every now and then. Thank you for realizing some of us have stressful lives outside of school, and you've never given up on any of us, even if we made your job a little harder than it already is. I may be speaking, but I speak for all of us when I say thank you for steering us in the right direction as we enter the next stage of our lives in education. Thank you, family members for encouraging us to try our hardest in school and helping us with homework assignments and last minute projects. Thank you for being a daily support in our lives and always pushing us to try our hardest and to never give up, even when school may seem hard. To my fellow peers, thank you CJS Wildcats for making this the hardest goodbye yet. I may see you again in the upcoming fall, but still, this is our, was our home away from home. Thank you for making all, thank you for all the friendships made and laughs shared. Thank you for making classes as entertaining as possible and making, bleh, making classes as fun as they could be and lunch as entertaining as possible. As a CJHS Wildcat, I learned to be respectful, responsible, and safe wherever I would go. But if there's only one thing I can take with me, it would be the meaning of appreciation. The definition is showing gratitude or recognition, which is something that the CJHS staff in District 86 taught me to see. Thank you. And now Morgan Cowan with the accomplishment speech. I am so glad to see all of you here today to celebrate the promotion of this eighth grade class. I'm Morgan Cowan, and I'm the Student Council President at CJHS. I would first like to thank the Administration and the Board of Education for giving me the opportunity to speak here today about all of the achievements of the 8th grade class here at CJHS this year. I would also like to thank parents, grandparents, teachers, principals, and many others for supporting us as we achieved many of these goals. The school year started off with a good cross-country season. Krista Messer was a state qualifier, along with the whole girls team, only two points away from qualifying for state as a whole team. While the boys cross country team had an eighth grader, Landon Hammond, who ran varsity the whole season. The start of the year also consisted of softball and baseball. The softball team made it all the way to regionals, semifinals, but sadly lost to a very tough Canton team. The baseball team ended their season with a total of six wins. The school year continued with speech team in the fall. They had a good year as well. It consisted of eight eighth graders who received many firsts and seconds on their speeches. Chess team also started in the fall 
with having a great year. Paul Peterson won a bronze medal at state competition. The winter sports season started with girls basketball and boys basketball following. The girls basketball team started their season with a huge win over New Normal Kingsley. They ended their season with a loss to Pekin Edison in the regional tournament and having a total of seven wins for this season. For the boys basketball, well, let's just say they had some pretty great cheerleaders. <laughs> All kidding aside, the boys basketball team did great as well. They weren't as successful as they hoped, but each team member showed grit and determination as the team by the end of the season. During the basketball season, there was also cheerleading and wild kids going on. We will start with, with cheerleading, who placed fourth at state this year. Wild kids also had a successful year, with many great dances choreographed by the team members and the high school readerettes teaching them further about dance. The winter sports season continued with wrestling and volleyball. Wrestling has a fantastic season. There were a total of 11 eighth graders on the team, and two of them qualified for state. Those wrestlers were Tanner Finnan and Tristan Westbay, and Tristan Westbay also got fourth overall at their wrestling. The volleyball girls had a good season as well. They took more into three games in regionals, and other coaches commented this year that they were the best team they've seen in a long time. Great seasons for both. There were also a few winter clubs that had terrific seasons. These clubs were Scholastic Bowl, Math Counts, and School Play. Scholastic Bowl had a wonderful season with many eighth grade team members showing leadership to bring about a successful season, along with Math Counts having an awesome season as well. This team placed fourth overall out of 24 teams at their competition this year. They were also ranked number one school in Tazewell County. The winter club season concluded with the school play. The school play consisted of 12 eighth graders and had four awesome performances. The school sports season ended with boys and girls track in the spring. The track season was outstanding this year. There were four eighth graders who qualified for state. Tyler Billingsley was one of them who qualified for state in the 1600 and he accomplished running the fastest time from CJHS in the past 10 years. Peyton Deering and Peyton Bradford both qualified for state in long jump along with Parker Bradford qualifying for state in shot put and placing fourth overall. There were also a few clubs that take place all year. Those are band, chorus, and student council. Band had a great year. Jazz band went to state, while the concert band was not too far off from going to state as well. There were also many concerts through the year, as well as several eighth grade students participating in solo ensemble and bringing home many firsts and seconds. Chorus had a great year as well. It was a great year of learning music and even making up some of their own. Two chorus members also did solo ensemble and received first. Those two students were Mara Dimitrov and myself. Finally, we cannot forget about student council. We had a super year. We raised a total of $2,000 and 2,000 plus cans for the East Peoria community. We also raised over $1,000 for St. Jude from buyouts and from our bingo night that were new this year. We might, have not, we might not have always succeeded at what we were doing in these activities, but that made us work even harder for our achievements. Although many of us look forward to becoming a Raider, we will always remember the achievements and great times we had as Wildcats. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashley Ricca. I'm representing the East Peoria District 86 Foundation. On behalf of the Spinder family, I'd like to present the James C. Spinder Citizenship Award. Jim Spinder served in as, as an example of service to the citizens of East Peoria. He served the city in many ways, including councilman and mayor. This award is presented to two graduating eighth graders, one boy and one girl, who have displayed an active interest in our school and the community through their service. The following students have been nominated to receive the James C. Spinder Citizenship Award. As I read your names, please stand. For our gentlemen, Joe Chrysler, Devin Gray, Jake Higgins, and Paul Peterson. Ladies, Faith Bavard, Morgan Cowan, Amanda McGarity, and Caitlin Sarnes. 
Congratulations to Joe Chrysler and Morgan Cowan, who have won the James C. Spender Citizenship Award. Students, please come forward to receive your plaques. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Frasco. The following students have been nominated for the Betty Timken Sportsmanship Award. Students, would you please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Audience, would you please hold your applause until the winners are announced. Girls, Peyton Deering, Amanda McGarity, Isabel Rakestraw. Boys, Jay Cuff, Tristan Westbay, Landon Hammond, and Tyler Billingsley. I am honored to be presenting the Betty Timken Award for Outstanding Sportsmanship. Betty Timken taught in our district for over 30 years and was a vital part of the students' lives as a teacher, coach, and athletic director. The nominees for this award must show outstanding sportsmanship during practice and games, must show a positive attitude with coaches, officials, members of the opposing teams, and teammates. The nominees must also be a member of at least two athletic teams. I am proud to announce the two winners of this award, Isabel Rakestraw and Tristan Westbay. <laughs> Students, please come forward and receive your plaques. Now I will be presenting the Nicholas Siegel Award. I'm honored to be presenting the Nicholas Siegel Scholastic Athlete Award. Mr. Siegel taught in East Peoria from 1958 to 1992. During this time, Mr. Siegel coached several sports, donating both his time and expertise to the youth of East Peoria. His dedication to youth sports carried on through his retirement years. While Mr. Siegel was competitive by nature, he also stood for truth and integrity. Mr. Siegel truly believed in the underdog. He strongly emphasized the philosophy that academics come first and sports second. The Nicholas Siegel Scholastic Athlete Award is presented to the eighth grade student with the highest grade point average who has participated in at least one sport. This year's Nicholas Siegel Scholastic Athlete Award goes to Ms. Amanda McGarity. And now, Mr. Engel, the superintendent and president of the IESA Board of Directors, will present the IESA Athletic Scholar Award. On behalf of the District, 80, of District 86 and the IESA Board of Directors, it is my honor to present the IESA Scholar Attitude Award this evening. This award was created in 1999 by the IESA to honor eighth grade students from each of the geographic regions that are represented by the IESA. The IESA Scholar Attitude Award recognizes the academic success, activity participation, and community involvement of the students in our member schools. The students who are honored as the IESA Scholar Attitude Award winners are among the best and the brightest in Illinois. They are the young leaders in their school and their community who dream to do great things as junior high school students and become leaders in their high school years and beyond. Two students, one male and one female, from CJHS who are considered exemplary are eligible to be chosen as a recipient provided he or she meets predetermined standards. The following requirements apply. Eighth grade status, a minimum 3.5 grade point average on a 4.0 scale, and participation in at least one of the IESA activities during each of his or her junior high years and demonstration of outstanding citizenship during their tenure. Eighth grade students were asked to write an essay titled The Value of Sportsmanship in February. Once completed, several essays were presented to Mr. Schrank and Mr. Frasco with the names left off to read and determine who would represent CJHS at the IESA. At this time, I'd like to ask the following students to come forward and receive their IESA Scholar Attitude Award. Justin Owens and Amanda McGarity. And now Mr. Schrank will present the Josephine Robinson Award.
I'm proud to present to you the Josephine Robinson Award. Josephine Robinson was a science teacher at Central Junior High School for many years. This award is given to an exemplary student who shows a great deal of interest in science and has gone above and beyond in classwork and projects throughout the three years at Central Junior High School. The student who is given this award best represents Josephine Robinson's love for science. This year's award winner is Jacob Higgins. Jacob, please come up and receive your clap. Now for the presentation of the class of 2016. Before we begin the presentation of the class of 2016, I would like to take a quick moment to recognize some very important people that work extremely hard every day to make CJHS successful. First, I would like to recognize our outstanding CJHS staff, a group of professionals who on a daily basis demonstrate our core values of excellence in teaching and pride in learning. They have a sincere passion for working with kids and take personal pride in offering the highest learning standards in academics, athletics, and extracurricular programs. I ask that all District 86 employees, current and retired, please stand. Join me in thanking them for their dedication and commitment. Next, I would also like to recognize Dr. Spencer, Mrs. Messmore, Mrs. Cicerelli, and Ms. Derry, as they will be retiring from CJHS. All of these individuals have truly made a positive difference at CJHS, and I appreciate their dedication and commitment to District 86 in the East Peoria learning community. How about a show of appreciation for all of those individuals? I would also like to take a minute to recognize a couple of our eighth grade students for their achievements this school year. Will Joseph Chrysler, Morgan Cowan, and Faith Bavard please stand up? Joseph and Morgan were chosen to represent CJHS at the, at the Central Illinois Valley region of the Illinois Principals Association Student Recognition Breakfast on May 2nd, and Faith was chosen to represent CJHS at the YWCA Women's Luncheon in Pekin on May 5th. These students were chosen to be recognized from the following criteria. Solid character, good work ethic, empathy towards others, and overall maturity. These three students exemplify this criteria. At this time, could we please show our congratulations to each of these students. Finally, I ask everyone in attendance to please show respect to students by holding your applause and celebration until all students have received their diplomas. Please set a good example so all the students and their families can hear their names as they are announced. Now, the presentation of the class of 2016. You may have noticed that some of our eighth grade students are wearing a medal and or pin. These awards were given to all of our 8th graders who achieved high honors and the Presidential Award of Excellence for the 2015-2016 school year. Mr. Ingold, Mr. Estes, and members of the Board of Education, the students gathered here have completed all of the district requirements for promotion from 8th grade and are officially recommended for promotion to the high school. Mr. Ingold, Mr. Estes, I present the class of 2016. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our students in the class of 2016. To the parents and families in attendance tonight, you have much to be proud of. These students have completed a milestone in their educational careers and now look forward to the challenges of high school. Remember, the responsibility and respect that was asked of you to be successful at CJHS, when you apply yourself, you will achieve the same level of success in high school. On behalf of the Board of Education, the Administration, and CJHS staff, 
I wish you the very best during your next four years of high school. Now I'll turn it over to Mr. Ingold, please. I want to again welcome all of you and thank you for helping us celebrate this very special moment in your child's life. Mr. Schrank, Mr. Fresco, I gladly accept your recommendation for promotion of the class of 2016 from junior high to high school. Parents, the years that your child has spent at Central Junior High represent one of the most significant periods of change that your children will go through. Students come into the junior high as children, and yet they leave as young adults who are ready for the next set of challenges that the high school holds for them. I thank each of you for your guidance and support that you have provided to them as they strive to meet and overcome the challenges that life presents to them. It is because of your efforts they stand before us today preparing to take this next big step in their lives after tonight's promotion from eighth grade. Students, you are to be commended for both your academic and extracurricular accomplishments. In addition, you will always be the first eighth grade class to attend classes in the new junior high. I challenge each of you to continue to strive for excellence in everything that you do. While you will be closing out your years here at C Central Junior High, it is our hope that you have set your sights on the next chapter in your lives. It is also our hope that you take with you the memories you have of life here at CJHS and that you all look forward to making new friendships and new memories in high school. To that end, I congratulate you and your parents and wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Central Junior High staff, Thank you for all the work you've done this year to prepare the students for their lives beyond the walls of Central Junior High. A special thanks also to all of you for the way you prepared and adapted to the beginning of the school year in a building that was just opening as school began. Through all the trials and tribulations, your resolve and dedication to the students and families of our community was greatly appreciated, and I thank you. Before we proceed with the presentation of the promotion certificates, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the members of the District 86 Board of Education. I will ask that each stand as I read their names and ask that they remain standing to be recognized as a group. Please hold your applause to the end. Board President Connie Ennis. Board, President, Board Vice President Randy Rundle could not be with us tonight. Board Secretary Chad Kramer. Board Member Dennis Vandeveer, Board Member Jason Cowan, Board Member Eric Duckworth, and we have Board Member Cindy Shire Kessler who could not be with us this evening. I ask that you give a round of applause for the commitment that our current and former board members make to this committee. Thank you very much. I also want to recognize Dr. Scott Estes, our Associate Superintendent, and Mr. Jason Warner, our Director of Operations and Finance, who are also with us this evening. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> At this time, I will ask Mr. Schrank and Mr. Frasco to come forward and begin presentations of the Certificates of Completion. Emily Ann Matheny. Sydney Lene Robinson. Morgan Lynn Cowan. Isabel Elise Raystra. Amanda Lee McGarity. Amanda Blaze Averly. Natalie Rose Anderson. Blake Hayden Alexander. Caitlin Rose Angle. Courtney Ann Ashley. Olivia Jo Asbury. Dale Leland Morris Beard. Michaela Ray Baker. Mason Lee Becker. Jacob Stephen Ballard. Logan Wesley Beckett. Skyler William Beard. Faith Evelyn Bavard. Morgan Renee Belsley. Tyler James Billingsley. Brock Andrew Burns. Haley Marie Blumenstock. James Dylan Bond. Chris Daniel Borton. Parker James Bradford. Luke Robert Brooks. 
Peyton Thomas Bradford. Colton Andrew Bundy. Garrett Owen Bridges. Alexis Jordan Butner. Dominic Anthony Brooks. Nicholas William Crager. Ryan Lewis Brooks. Joseph Riley Chrysler. Bryston Mitchell Brown. Abigail Sue Bell Dahl. Jeremiah J. Burgess. Alexandria Rochelle Dean. Eliana Jalen Burwell. Peyton Nicole Deering. Lexi Luann Byard. Chayton Walker Ellis. Umasinda Maria Cantrell. Austin Michael Evangelist. Bradley Shane Colley. Jadlyn Sierra Everett. Caleb Tyler Collins. Autumn Rose Freeman. Ian Michael Cook. Aliyah Noel Goble. Alana Marie Cortez. Caitlin Marie Graff. Emma Lane Cowan. Devin Lee Gray. Jada Lynn Cripe. Blake Robert Griffin. Bailey Lee Curris. Tressa Ray Grisham. Andrew J. Davis. Alexander Travis Hale. Mara Ann Dimitrov. Elijah Miguel Hammond. Abigail Ann Marie Duckworth. Nigel Theron Harkness. Nathan Curtis Durham. Lauren Elizabeth Hawkins. Sarah Beth Aker. Ivy Marie Hellstrom. Maya Endress Eaton. Gregory Clay Heron II. Allison Renee Eckberg. Christopher Anthony Higdon. Tanner Uriah Finnan. Evan Lee Allen Higgins. Alyssa Reagan Flatbeard. Austin Edward Hinton. Dominic Zane Hahn. Monique Allison Hoosen. Landon Kent Hammond. Lindsay Elizabeth Eisenhardt. Devin Xavier Hayes Knable. Hunter Wayne Jansen. Kyle David Heaton. Trey Alexander Johnson. Bradley Austin Hidden. Hannah Marie Kelly. Jacob Andrew Higgins. Haley Alexis Klein. Jake Douglas Huff. Thomas Jordan Lecoq. Aubrey Faye Humphrey. Kaylee May Leach. Kaylin Michelle Jording. Cole Jeremiah Leathers. Adriana Jalen Lobdell. Annecy Elizabeth Lewis. Alexia Bree Mann. Marissa Mercedes Lopez. Brianna Nicole McBride. Samantha Joanna Lutton. Devante James Charles McDonald. Chase Benjamin Matthews. Colin Clifford McRae. Sage Nova McWilliams. Alexis Marie Meeks. Haley Lane Meismer. Krista Marie Messer. Cheyenne Nicole Metz. Cassandra Nicole Miller. Cameron Riley Mobeck. Storm Elizabeth Moore. Brianna Renee Moore. Brina Lynn Morgan. Kira Leslie Moore. Robert Joseph Mueller. Jared Alex Mueller. Peyton Keith Mullins. Kyle James Mulhern. Joshua Peter Orr. Isaac John Nelson. Sierra Neve Patterson. Riley Nan O'Laughlin. Bradley Isaiah Pearson. Justin Fox Owens. Jackson Roger Purdue. Kobe Glenn Palmer. Paul James Peterson. Callie Elizabeth Paulson. Madison Jane Purcell. Alexia Rose Porter. Caden Terry Regan. Haley Marie Randall. Jasmine Ariel Rhodes. Carson William Ray. Amani Janae Richard. Thomas Wayne Reynolds. Noah Anthony Ricker. Gloria Jerry Riddle. Jackson Donald Roger. Brandon Matthew Rogers. Brendan Kirby Royger. Maya Sierra Rose. 
Gavin Lewis Smith. Sarah Lindsay Routley. Mariah Lynn Smith. Caitlin Marie Sarms. Chase Walker Salofra. Kaylee Elise Schmidgall. Lillian Claire Solomon. Alex Sivone Sopanavone. Casey Michael Spence. Parker Bailey Spence. Destiny Elizabeth Stevens. Sebastian Chase Spradlin. Hunter Mark Stewart. Bailey Aurora Stone. Elijah Jacob Stouter. Zoe Cecilia Strait. Shane Lorenzo Travis. Madison Denise Summers. Maya Nicole Turk. Bianca Eileen Thomas. Tristan Randa Turbot. Courtney Nicole Turbot. Chase Keith Ulrich Wagner. Shailen Ray Upchurch. Tristan Geronimo Westbay. Jacob Allen Waldrop. Haley Rayanne Whitman. Carter Michael Wilbanks. Skyler Austin Williamson. Dakota Michael Wilson. Stuart Milton Wynn. Chloe Nicole Weisenberg. Zachary Irvin Colewood. Sadly to say, our days at CJHS are coming to an end. Several, several of us will miss the long days and memories that these three years contain, but overall we will have the next four years to make many more memories. A lot of us may not be ready to make this huge transition, but no matter how hard it is, someone will always have our back. Numerous of us have formed unforgettable memories, one of those being going to Bradley for a girls basketball game in sixth grade. Another memory is the huge transition into our new building. A lot of our class has taken the opportunity to join sports and clubs, which form many additional memories. Several of our classmates have taken the opportunity and realized they had various new talents. In the early years of junior high, many of us formed new relationships along with the ones already formed. Coming into the junior high, many of us didn't know how to open a locker, get to class, or prioritize our time wisely. Now we've mastered opening our lockers in under five seconds, getting to class in one minute, and getting all our work done on time. Next year we'll bring many new challenges, such as splitting off from our friends during lunch, having classes with separate grade levels, and getting to class at school in under five minutes. But we will stay determined and persevere through it all. From the first day of sixth grade to the day we receive our diploma, countless successes, failures, and mistakes have and will happen. Each failure we learn and move on to the next chapter in our life. We become a better person each time we succeed or fail. Next year, we will have many more opportunities to make new friends and new clubs and activities to join, such as Key Club and Tennis. Next year will be a year to have a fresh start and really focus on becoming the person we want to be known as. Hopefully, many students will focus on the subjects and activities they will need to develop the skills for their future job. As a class, we would like to say thank you to all the teachers that have affected our lives in a positive way, whether it's just a lesson in class or just how to be polite. Our teachers have taught us various things that will help us throughout the rest of our lives. Although we've only had a few years together, we've had so many special memories and lessons. Going into junior high, many more opportunities arose due to the quality of focus on each subject. Many students found a love for certain subjects because of the care and detail each teacher puts into it. We would like to say farewell, junior high, and all the memories you have provided. Goodbye to chasing each other while riding scooters and learning about how to stay healthy. Goodbye to dissecting squids and doing fun labs in class. Goodbye to graphing lines and learning slope-intercept form. 
Goodbye to learning about the Civil War and making fun newspapers. Goodbye to exciting short stories and learning about job tips. Goodbye to watching the King and I playing on nitro type, making model cars and drawing 3D buildings. Farewell CJHS and hello to our next step EPCHS. And now Mr. Shrink. Students, one last note. Since you have now completed the promotion ceremony, your year is officially over. Please enjoy your summer break. Parents, this concludes our promotion ceremony. We want to thank each of you com for coming. Hope all of you have a great night, and again, best of luck to all of you in the future. Thank you.